Hello C305 students. I would like to welcome you all to this class. My name is Dr. Ali Hajbabai. I will be teaching traffic engineering course this semester and I hope you had a great holiday break. You had a lot of fun and you are refreshed and ready to start the new semester. We meet twice a week on Tuesday and Thursdays in Fitzwillard Hall. Our class starts at 4.30 and goes up to 5.45 p.m. I also have an office hour. I hold it in Zoom. You can find the link to the Zoom in your syllabus. Uh, the office hour is on Thursdays from 5.45 to 7 p.m. We don't have a TA yet, uh, so the information that you see here about the TA will be updated in your syllabus and you will see that later on. We use Moodle as our course website, so all of your uh, homework assignments, video lectures, slides are going to be there. Our communications will be via email, Moodle, and also in class announcements. So if you go to the Moodle, what you will see that all the homework assignments are there with due date. Uh, blank slides are there and also you can find uh, the date for your exams. C305 is an introductory course in transportation engineering discipline. Its objective is to familiarize us with a wide range of topics in this domain. For instance, we will be learning about vertical and horizontal curve design, about traffic stream characteristics, about freeway analysis, fundamentals of queuing theory, and vehicle arrival distributions. We will be working on signalized intersections, how to analyze them, and how to determine cycle lengths and green durations. We also learn some fundamentals of traffic uh, demand forecast. So you can see that when we want to cover this wide range of topics in one semester, we don't have enough opportunity to get really deep in any of these. But the objective here is to provide the class with enough materials so that you are familiar with these topics. And if you want to get deep, you can do it on your own or in follow-up courses. I also have a YouTube link here. It's a fun video related to traffic engineering that I would like for you all to watch it. The textbook that we use is Principles of Highway Engineering and Traffic Analysis. We use the seventh edition by Fred Mannering and Scott Washburn. You need to have this edition because the example problems are changed and I assign example problems from the book. If you have older versions, those are okay for learning, but for doing the homework assignments, you need to look into the seventh version and the book is also available uh, using the all in online option and you can find details of that on our Moodle website. Now I want to talk about the topics that we will be covering in this course during this semester. Chapter 3 is on geometric design of highways. We spend a good amount of time on this chapter and your first midterm exam deals only with what we learn in this chapter. We talk about vertical curve design here. If you want to think about it, how a downhill slope that you are driving on it should be attached to an uphill and how we can transition from the downhill to the uphill so that you can drive comfortably and safely you have enough sight distance to go through this transition horizontal curve design is when we design a curve that you're either turning right or left what should be the radius so that you are safe and comfortable given the weather condition, the speed limit there, and other conditions that are available. 
We move to chapter 5 where we learn fundamentals of traffic flow and queuing theory. Here we talk about macroscopic traffic flow characteristics. We learn uh, what is traffic volume or flow rate. We learn what is the average speed and density. We also talk about some microscopic traffic flow characteristics. This is when we look into individual vehicles and we talk about headways between them, the speed of each vehicle or the spacing between vehicles. We talk about fundamental traffic flow diagram and how flow rate, speed and density are related to one another. We talk about vehicle arrival distribution and also queuing theory. And what we learn in this chapter is the fundamentals of a lot of new concepts that we'll be learning either in this class or in other follow-up classes in traffic engineering. Chapter 6 deals with highway capacity and level of service. In this chapter, we become familiar with different types of highways such as freeways, multi-lane highways, two-lane highways. We learn different types of segments. For instance, on a freeway facility, we have basic segments, we have weaving segment, segments, we have merge and diverge segments. We learn how to determine free flow speed on highways, how to find analysis flow rate, calculate density, and find the level of service. In chapter 7, we start talking about interrupted flow. This chapter is on traffic control analysis at signalized intersections, so we start talking about a lot of signalization concepts. What is a cycle length? What is phase plan or the sequence of phases? What or how to determine green duration? We learn how to find each of these and based on those we find intersection delay. So how much time you need to wait on average to go through the intersection and based on that we determine the level of service. I have another link here. It's an interesting concept of an intersection uh, where everything seems to be automated. In the eighth or last chapter that we cover in this class, we talk about travel demand and traffic forecast. We talk about trip generation concepts and models. We talk about mode and destination choice and also highway route choice. I use these weights that you see here to find your final grade. So 10% of your final grade is coming from homework assignments, 30% from each exam. And you can see that they add up to 100%. Exam 1 only covers chapter 3. The exam is um, at 4.30 p.m. in class on Moodle. So you need to bring your uh, laptop or your tablet so that you can have access to Moodle. You see the questions on Moodle. There is room for you to put your answers there. You need to make or take photos from your work and also upload those into Moodle. Your exam 2 is going to cover chapter 5 and 6. Your final exam is going to cover chapter 7 and 8 and it's going to be at 3.30 p.m. in class on Moodle. This table shows how your letter grade is calculated. We don't need to get into the details of this table. It is on your syllabus. I'm using the university's typical thresholds to calculate your letter grade. We will be having three exams in this class, including the final exam. The exams are not comprehensive, but I don't mean 
that you can forget what you learn for the first exam when you are taking the third exam. So the topics here are really interrelated and you need to know the materials throughout the semester. The exams are closed book and closed notes, but you can bring a letter size cheat sheet and write whatever you want on both sides of that cheat sheet. What you cannot write there is a sp is specific solutions to a specific problem. You can have the approach, step-by-step -step approach to find the answer, but you cannot have numerical solutions on the cheat sheet. And you need to take a photo of your cheat sheet and also upload that at the end of the exam. So let me go over the, uh, the way that we do the exam one more time. So the exams are in class, but I give them to you by Moodle. So you need to bring your laptop or tablet. You need to make sure that they are fully charged so that uh, you can use them throughout the exam. The exams are given to you during the class time, except for the last exam for which we have more time. So what you need to do is to log into Moodle. You will see the questions. You will solve those questions on a piece of paper, and then there is room for you to put the final answers on Moodle. You need to take photos of your work in addition to your cheat sheet and upload all of them on Moodle. We will be having 10 homework assignments. These assignments are already on Moodle with their due dates. So you can see the homework problems when they are due for the entire semester so that you can plan better for them. These homework assignments are not too long. So you can see that pretty much every week we have an assignment, but each time it's four or five problems max. I know that um, a good way of learning is to work on homework problems together, but you need to hand in your own work, your own solution approach to each homework problem. So um, we do not accept a homework problem that is submitted by a group of students. These are individual homework assignments. We also do not have a late homework policy. So late homeworks will not be accepted. Homework assignments will cover 10% of the final grade, as you have seen before. Okay, let's go over the schedule of the class. You can find this information also in your syllabus on Moodle website. So the first three weeks, we will be talking about curve design or geometric design. Week one and two, we will be talking about vertical design. We start with crest vertical curves, and then we continue with sag vertical curves. You can see that your, your homework assignments uh, are already here as well with their due dates. Week three, we will be talking about horizontal curve design and in and in week four, we start talking about traffic stream characteristics, which is the chapter five of your book. In week five, we will have an exam review session. And your first midterm exam will be on Feb 10th in class by Moodle. Week six. Um, is when we talk about queuing theory. We continue that conversation in week seven. And um, in that week, we pretty much wrap up our conversations uh, regarding chapter five. From week eight, uh, we start our chapter six, which is on freeways analysis. So in one week, we will go through that chapter. And in week nine, we start talking about signal timing concepts. Week 10, we have our spring break. And when you return, we will have an exam review 
and your second exam will be on March 24th in class via Moodle. In week 12 and one session in week 13, we continue talking about signal timing. In week 13, we start talking about transportation demand. We continue that conversation in week 14 and 15. And in week 15, we also have our exam review. And at this point, we will be pretty much done with this course. So I hope that uh, the information that I have put in this video is helpful for you all. And if you have any questions, please do make sure to let me know. Have a good one.